So the first part of our procedure is going to be cleansing the patient. This will help to kill any pathogens and help and reduce the risk of any infection. Our next step is to perform a nerve block. And the nerve block obviously is to make the patient more comfortable. So we're gonna, we're gonna block both the geniculate nerve and also the saphenous nerve. And then we're also gonna perform a field block for the patient as well, which means trying to give some local anesthesia along the skin just to help further numb the field. And this is just done with some lidocaine and a little bit of bicarbonate. And the nice thing is if you enter the skin very quickly, it doesn't really hurt the patient. So the technique is key. And the anesthesia should just take a short period of time to set in. This injection here is to help where we're going to enter into the knee to deposit our materials, which you will see. Fortunately, not very uncomfortable, but very beneficial for the patient. So now that that's done, we'll be on to step two, which is the use of activated oxygen. This is pure medical grade oxygen that I like to use in my procedures, and we may not use them at all, but we use them in a uh, good portion of them, and this helps with cellular activation and also helps to modulate what's known as cytokines. And it's easy to put right into the joint. Our next step is to use an adipose graft. Grafting is really important because it helps to give some space into the knee, and furthermore, the grafting helps to provide a lattice or a framework and that framework enables the growth factors in the stem cells a place in order to work. When they have this lattice and framework, they can work more efficiently than if they don't have it. So here's the stem cell uh, mixed with PRP that we're injecting in here into the medial portion of the knee. Since her arthritis is more on the medial side, we're going to concentrate more of our cellular products on the medial side here. We don't just stop at what we see on the x-ray, on the MRI. We're going to treat things that are also a problem. And as I mentioned, the distal portion of the MCL, I felt to be weakened during examination. So we're going to treat that as well with something known as PPP, or platelet-poor plasma. The platelet-rich plasma is mixed in with the stem cells. I think it's really important to treat the patient and treat their problems, not just treat the x-ray. And that is a brief synopsis of the stem cell procedure for arthritis of the knee.